nutrition? <laughs> nutrition, there's only one food for the black man. That food is electrical. That has never been brought to you. Genetics have never been considered. I came to New York, and Annette Thomas, who's in the audience, told me, why don't you come to New York? I said, I don't want to go to New York because there's too much, too many healers in New York. <laughs> they know too much. And I do not want to add to the pot. <laughs> and for some unknown reason here, I am in New York. And as I appear in New York, what do I find? I found people who call themselves healers, recommending tofu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just begin with the tofu. Yeah. What is tofu? Yeah. Heard from what? Soybean. Was the soybean made by light or was it made in a laboratory in England? Now, if it was made in England, it was a, it is an incomplete molecular structure. Meaning it has no place within your biological structure. Why? It cannot assimilate. Because there is nothing in you that resembles a soybean. Didn't our brother George Washington Carver talk thanks to Jay, who brought us up to date? One of our members of the, at the Usha Institute, he showed us where Brother George Washington Carver found that the peanut had a beautiful oil, very good for linoleum. <laughs> <laughs> he also found that the soybean had a nice, creamy, white milk, good for plastics. same source of plastics, I'm going to derive my nutrition. It's just a sensible thing. And as we investigate further, we find that this soybean has inorganic silica. What's going on? We tell you, all our religions, our philosophies, our ability to interpret history, what purpose did it serve? We dying fast and not under fall. I never read a history book. I am history. Yesterday and tomorrow, now. So why should I read me? I have never found that necessary. But I find my brother who read history, he never had one contribution to make to the black race. Why? Because his historical documentation was also white. It was white. So the black man coming from Africa, straight to America without no clothes on, felt the chill of the northern region of the planet for the first time. And he felt starch in his mouth for the first time. Now, this is where we're gonna end this little chapter, and then we go on to another. If the African people did not eat carrots, beets, rice, turnips, uh, hog, cow, because cow, wheat, what did the African eat? It was the most important thing to bring to a people, not philosophy or history or religion. What goes in his mouth to keep him within that cosmic order that he could communicate? But no, that was, a, that was behind. That was later. So let us feed this individual standing in front of me who been ravaged from his mother 400 years ago, who have been eating pork and beef and chicken, stand in front of me and he gonna understand what? When his computer, his computer has been derailed. There's a language in computer. G-E-N-G-L. Garbage in. What else? So when I talk, I am shaking the foundation that we have accepted for so many years. Yes. But let it shake. Yeah. The race is at stake. 